a warm demonic welcome to you. It is Monday, August 29th, and we have another amazing demonically inspired pick a card reading just for you. Like always, I'm going to shuffle the deck. We are using the Ducante Sigil Hierarchy deck. So I'm going to shuffle the deck. We're going to lay out three cards. I'm going to give you a moment to gaze at the cards and see which card calls to you. Then I'm going to turn the card over and channel a very special message just for you. Let's shuffle the deck. If you love our work and want to support our channel, it is as simple as liking this video and hitting the subscribe button. You are absolutely amazing and we love having you with us on this journey. All right, let's begin. I'm going to lay out three cards. This is card number one. This is card number two. And this is card number three. Take a moment to gaze at the cards. Which one is calling to you? Which demon has a message for you? All right, let's dive right in. If you picked card number one, the demon who has a message for you is Baal. Are you taking care of yourself or are you neglecting yourself? Are you taking time every day for self-care, for self-appreciation, for showing yourself gratitude? for honoring your physical needs and where you are. How can you expect to attain success? How can you expect to go the distance and attain the goals you want when you won't take care of yourself, when you won't take care of your physical needs and you won't give yourself the nutrients that you need? You need to make sure that your physical needs are met. You need to have a structured routine. You need to honor where you are. You need to honor when you are hungry, when you are tired, when you are burnt out. You need to do things throughout the day that nourish your body so that you can have a strong mind and be able to take the actions that you want. Large goals are wonderful. Setting intentions are great, but you won't be able to go the distance if you do not take care of yourself. It is absolutely important that you have a routine, a daily routine where you are setting yourself up for success. You need to make sure that you are eating right. You need to make sure that you are eating nutrient rich food and getting the water that you need. You need to make sure also that your mindset is healthy. Do things every day to nourish your mindset. Read a book that fills you full of hope that gives you the tools that you need for success. Pay attention to what you are putting in your mind. Pay attention to what you are reading, what you are watching, what you are absorbing around you. All of this contributes to what's going on within. Make sure you are not ingesting toxins. Make sure you are not putting toxicity inside of you. Toxicity. Toxic energies come in many different forms. Make sure that the energies that you are letting in your body are nourishing and enriching, that they are not draining you, that they are not knocking you down mentally, that they are not depleting your reserves. This is absolutely important. How you tend to yourself and how you nourish yourself is going to dictate what you are able to accomplish. If you put good energies in, if you put good food and drink pure water, there is no limit to what you will be able to accomplish and there is no limit to what you are able to do. It starts with you though and the choices that you make. 
Make good choices with your body. Make good choices with your mind. And you will find that the world opens up before you. You will find that opportunity will find you. Opportunity and abundance will flow to you. It starts, though, with you and the choices that you make. You need to look at the choices you are making every day, and you need to take time to honor where you are. Honor what is going on inside of you. Honor where your body is. Honor where your mind is. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and give yourself the attention that you need. Love yourself. Honor yourself. Take time every day to meditate. Take time every day to fill your body with vibrations of love, self-love, self-care, self-nourishment. Make sure that you are getting enough of it and make sure that you are tending to your needs and tending to what your physical body requires. This week especially, there are new challenges before you and that will open up new opportunity. If you take the time to honor where you are and take the time to tend to your needs, you are going to find that everything will open up before you. Everything will start to fall into alignment and you will start to see manifestations around you, good manifestations, manifestations that show your life is shifting to where you want it to go, where you want to arrive. The way will open up, but it starts with you and the choices that you are making today. Make good choices about what you are putting in, what you are allowing into your space. Take time this week for self-care. Nourish yourself, nourish your mind, and be prepared for the world to shift and open up opportunity before you. That is card number one, Lord Ball. If you picked card number two, the demon who has a message for you is Lord Satan. I love Lord Satan. You are loved and you are appreciated, not just in the physical world, but in the spiritual world as well. You have so many who are rooting for you. You have so many who want you to succeed, who know your potential and who believe in you. You need to believe in you. You need to believe in your skills and you need to believe in your abilities. I'm going to tell you something. Confidence is not something that you are born with. It is a skill that you learn. It is a skill that can be developed. If you do not have confidence right now, if you have low self-esteem, do not worry. These are skills that can be developed and they are skills that can rise within you. You have many who are in your corner, who are rooting for you, who want you to succeed, who want to see you live the best life that you possibly can. You deserve it. You absolutely deserve it. And you are amazing. You are amazing and you are incredible. You have a unique range of skills and abilities that are within you and you have greatness within you. You have the power within you to attain all that you desire, and you have the power to manifest the life that you want. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in the skills and abilities that are within you. You have to believe in your talents, and you have to know that you can do it. Do not worry about your critics. Do not worry about those that want you to fall. Those who are your sharpest critics... They are your biggest fans. They are giving you so much energy to succeed. For your mental state, though, focus on those who love you, on those who care about you, and those who are cheering you on. 
You are loved and you are adored and you have many who want to see you succeed. You have many who want to see you rise. You have many that want to see you step into your potential and live the life of your dreams and you can do it. I believe in your skills. I believe in your abilities and I believe in you. Believe in yourself. Believe in who you are and believe in the amazing individual that is you. Take a moment to stand in front of the mirror and say that you love yourself and you appreciate yourself. Look at all that you have been through. Look at all that you have survived. Look at all that you have conquered. You have only just begun. You are here, living, breathing, walking. You have survived through everything that is before you. You have survived. And all those who told you you would fail, they were wrong. They have never been more wrong about anything. You are a winner. You are going to survive. You are going to endure. And not only that, you are going to thrive. You are going to thrive and live the life of your dreams. Believe in yourself. Believe in the power that is within. Believe in the essence of your soul and allow it to rise. If you do not feel confident, if you do not feel self-assured, do not worry. These are skills that are learned. Practice them. Practice them through accomplishment. Every time you accomplish something, celebrate. Every time you accomplish something new, take a moment to celebrate. Every time you knock something off your to-do list, celebrate. Every time something wonderful happens, celebrate. You can never celebrate too much. This is something that is absolutely important. Take time every day to celebrate and surround yourself with others who wish to celebrate too. Celebrate wins, celebrate successes, celebrate accomplishments, celebrate connections. You have those in the physical world and those in the spiritual world who love you. They love you and they are rooting for you. They want you to succeed and they want you to thrive. Celebrate with them. Celebrate your accomplishments. Celebrate what you have achieved and do not let negative mindsets knock you down. Do not let your critics make you feel less than the amazing individual that you are. And do not let those who want to see you fall win. In the end, you will have a legacy of accomplishments and they will have nothing but a lifetime of criticisms. That is what they have to look forward to. You, though, look forward to success. Look forward to what you are building and know that you are loved, not just in the physical world, but also in the spiritual world. You are amazing and don't forget it. That is card number two, Lord Satan. If you picked card number three, the demon who has a message for you is Flarios. Stoke the fires within. The fires that burn in your heart are passion. They are passion and they are the creative force that flows through not just you, but also the universe. When you nourish them by giving in to creative impulses and giving in to moments where you surrender to your inner desire, you nourish the flames of creativity. You nourish the fires within. Awaken the flames and direct them. Direct them to your goals. Direct them to taking massive action on the road to success. Make sure, though, that you are doing things which nourish the flame, which allow it to grow. This will carry you forward. It will allow you to take consistent action, and it will allow you to burn away all obstacles and barriers in your path. Oh, there are vibrations that will try to stop you. There are energies that will come out of seemingly nowhere that will try to stop you. The more your fire burns and the stronger your actions are, the more bold you are in what it is that you want to attain, the less chance those obstacles will have in stopping you. It is important though, nourish the fire within, allow it to grow, allow it 
to burn and take action in the direction that you want. Accomplish, create, manifest. This world is yours. It is yours to build as you desire and it is yours to create as you desire. Remember that you have the power within you. The fires burning within are fires of creation. They are fires of passion and they are fires of manifestation. The more you ignite them and the more you dance in the inferno of your own being, the stronger your manifestations will be and the more you will have. You need to embrace them though. You need to let them burn within you. And the more they burn, the stronger they burn, the stronger your manifestations will be and the stronger you will feel. You will feel the strength of the fire. You will feel the inferno within and you will know that nothing can stop you. There will be those that will try to extinguish your flame. They will try to attack you, cut you down, belittle you. All they are doing is trying to extinguish your flame. Do not let them. Dance with your flame and be proud of it. Be proud of who you are and be proud of where you are going. Names that you are called and labels that people try to paint on you. They are not yours and you do not have to own them. You do not have to own another person's view of you. You do not have to own what they say of you. Be true to yourself. Be true to yourself and be true to the fire that burns within you. The bigger that fire gets, the more likely those who try to cut you down will be burned. They will not be able to stop you and you will be a force of power moving towards your desires, moving towards your dreams and moving towards the manifestations that you wish to attain. Keep moving towards them. Keep moving towards your goals. Take action. Embrace creation. Embrace creativity. Embrace what you are passionate about and allow those passions to continuously nourish and fuel the flames within. This week, surrender to your creative side. Surrender to your creative impulses and allow yourself to feel that fire burning within. Do not be ashamed of your fire. Do not be ashamed of what it is you wish to attain. Continuously move towards your goals and let the fire carry you. Let the fire and passion within you motivate you and use it to manifest what you want and desire. This is a week of passion. This is a week of creativity. And this is a week of manifestation. Embrace it. Embrace it and be proud of who you are and the fire that is burning within. Let the fire burn and do not worry about those who try to stop you. They can't. That is card number three, Lord Flarios. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's Demonically Inspired Pick a Card. We hope you enjoyed your reading. If you love our work and want to support our channel, please consider subscribing. It would mean the world to us. I hope you have an amazing and demonically inspired week. Till next time. Bye.